guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to today's video. So today I am back with a huge haul. I did some damage, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I did save a lot of money while I was shopping, which I'm gonna talk to you guys about. I'm really hoping that this is in focus. I bought a little remote to focus everything and take the video for me because I lost my other one and this one isn't working so I've had to spend about half an hour trying to get myself in focus and like moving around a little bit. I think I finally got it. Fingers crossed, I'm gonna be really angry if I haven't. But yeah, let's get into it. So today's video is actually sponsored by Shop Targo, which is literally so exciting for me and I know so many of you guys are gonna love it because it literally means that you can get your clothes when they're on sale and I'm gonna explain all about it in a second. So basically all of this stuff that I have bought, I am gonna put on screen how much money I saved, like getting them on sale compared to full price. I'm gonna put on screen how much I would have paid if I got them full price and how much I did pay because I got them while they were on sale. I have decided that I want to start shopping smart because that means that you can get higher quality items for less and it doesn't mean that I can buy less things because I'm not buying everything that's like cheap but I get higher quality items and I also get them for a lower price and if you guys want to start buying like really high quality things for a lower price or even things from like New Look or River Island for a lower price then literally check out Shop Target. you can use it on your phone or your desktop and I'll just put that on screen in a second so you guys can understand it a little bit more I feel like if it was on screen you'll have to see and like get it better than me just explaining it so to use Shop Targa it's literally so easy all you need to do is google shoptarga.com and then you'll find this little tag thing click it and then you can add it onto your like extensions on Google and then you can literally add anything from any store as long as it's supported and most stores are. I'll show you later on how many stores you can buy from with this. It's incredible how many there are. So basically you go on your favorite shop, mine is ASOS, you can get so much on there. So I Googled ASOS and then you just shop like you usually do. Like if you like to window shop, this is perfect for you. And I found this really pretty blue dress that I thought would be really lovely for my trip to France later in the year. So I selected what size I wanted in and then this little pop-up comes up saying add it to shop Targa and then I added it to my France items and saved it. So now it is in that list and I'll get a notification either like through my mobile phone or I'll get an email telling me when the price drops or if it goes on sale or if it comes back in stock, if it goes out of stock and comes back in stock, it alerts you to loads of different things. And you can make little lists, so you can add a list for literally anything. You can make a birthday wish list, which is really cool. And if you made a birthday wish list, you could click this little share list thingy, my Bob, and basically share it on Facebook or share it on Twitter or copy the link and send it to your family. If they want to know what you want, you can just send them your shop target list because you can literally add anything to these lists that you want. And as you can see, I've got a list for coats because I do love myself a nice coat. And I've also got a list for my France items because I like to kind of keep an eye on them and keep track of them. And it's basically kind of like a wish list that's really easy to shop and it lets you know when you can save money on it. And as you can see, there are literally so many shops you can purchase things from. There is literally thousands. Look at all these. It goes completely from A to Z. And this is just A and B that I'm showing you. Look how many shops there are. It's incredible. I love this so much. So that is Shop Targa. It's really, really cool. You guys are definitely going to like it. If you click the link in the description, you can download it or make an add-on on your desktop, laptop, whatever you're using. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy and find it useful because I absolutely love it. So now let's dive on into the haul. Right, I have a lot of pairs of shoes around me. I needed some new shoes, my dog ate my favourite black boots, so I needed some new ones, and these are the ones that I got. They are really, really nice. I absolutely love these. They're from the brand Firetrap. They're really cool. They're like, they're kind of a sock boot. I really, really like this. Um, I've been seeing quite a few like sock boot type things, and these do the whole like trendy sock boot without being too trendy for me because... I feel a little bit uncomfortable wearing like trendy things, it's just not really me. But these boots, they are really quite sophisticated, I think they're quite um, girl boss-ish, like I feel like, yeah, I feel like a CEO 
I am a CEO. But I feel more like a CEO when I'm wearing these. Um, so these are really, really cool. I absolutely love them. They're so nice. They're quite tapered as well. I don't like really tight sock boots where it's like clinging onto your ankle. I like there to be a little bit of room. And you can see it's still a little boot, but not like excessive room. I love these. They're so nice. The heel is like a perfect height. And let me tell you, these are so, so comfortable. I've never worn a more comfortable boot in my life. I walked around shopping in these for probably like two hours and the only little bit of pain I had was on my little toe. It's a little bit of pain, but nothing compared to what I usually endure when I'm wearing heels. These are just so nice, I love them. I love the like, it's not patent leather and it's not like just plain leather, it's like, it's a nice look. Like they're shiny, but they're not overly shiny. I love these, they're so nice. They're so well made, they're so comfortable and you can just feel when you're walking in them that the soles are like really good quality. You know when you buy boots and they've got really thin soles? I hate that, my feet are just in agony all day. And these are so nice. They were supposed to be 110 pounds. It doesn't say on the box how much they were, but I think they were 55. I got them on sale for 55, they're supposed to be 110. And if I'm honest, 110, I wouldn't really say they're worth 110 pounds. They're definitely worth 55. I'd say the most I'd pay for these full price would be 70, but these are just so lovely. I love them. 55 pounds, complete bargain. I know they're gonna last me a lifetime, as long as I keep my dog away from them. But yeah, I really like these. They are called the Solar Boot. These are kind of like spaceshipy actually. I can imagine like running through like a a uh, spaceship with like a laser gun shooting someone. I love these, they're really cute. The next pair of shoes that I got are from Miso. These were supposed to be 50 pounds and I got them for 25. These boots, I feel like you're either gonna love them or you're gonna hate them. I really like these, I think they're so nice. Oh, look how sweet, I love them. They're like a low cut boot. I've got a high boot and I've got a low cut boot. These stop bang on like my ankle bone, like. You know that bone here? It stopped bang on there. I think that's a really nice length for a boot because if you're wearing jeans, you either want your jeans to go into your boot or you want them to stop just there. Like, if they go slightly under and they're still like a ring of skin, I feel like it looks a little bit odd. I've been looking for boots this length and this color and this style for so long. Okay, I've got an outfit idea in my head that is just gorgeous. So, blue skinny jeans. These brown little boots that are just so cute, kind of western looking, and a white shirt. It's gonna look so good. These will look so good with white jeans. They'll look good with black jeans. They'll look good with any color jeans, with like a nice dress. Oh, these could look so nice with a dress in the summer. Even this dress, wow. I love these, 25 pounds, complete bargain. I haven't worn them for an entire day just yet. I know they're going to hurt me a little bit on that little ankle bone that I just showed you because they hit right there and I need to wear them in and kind of stretch them. So I think I'm going to wear them around the house with like some fluffy socks to try and break them in a little bit. But again, I can feel the sole is really nice quality. These are like furry inside and you can just feel like how sturdy they are as a boot. Like you can't really squish them too much. They're not like squishy. You can like hit it and you can feel they're solid, which I really like. These just feel like really, really nice quality. I've never heard of the brand Miso before. If you guys have, let me know your opinions on the brand. I've never heard of them, but I think £25 for these boots, such a good deal. There's something about buying things when they're on sale. It's just so satisfying, like knowing that people are paying full price for these and you're getting them at a really good price. <laughs> the next pair of shoes I got are some wellies. These are from Kangol. Never heard of them before. I, I was going to get some Hunter wellies, but then I thought, you know what, I don't wear them often enough to spend that much money. Uh, these were supposed to be £40 and I got them for £20. I got them in a size 4. My feet are like so strange. I used to be a size 6 when I was about 12, 13, and then when I was about 15, 16, I went down to a size 5, and now I'm a size 4. So my feet just keep shrinking, eventually I'll have no feet left. Um, yeah, I don't know why my feet keep getting smaller, but size four, they fit me so perfectly. Like, I just love these. They've got like a ring around the front, as if there's an extra layer of padding around your toes, which is quite nice if there is. 
I just love these. They, I love the feel of wellies. Does anybody else love this like uh, rubbery texture? I love it. It's so nice. But yeah, I love these. I've been walking my dog like around this place called Baggeridge in Wolverhampton. You might know it. It's like this big walking track and it's all muddy and my dogs always stand up on me. And I needed some boots because I was going around in my Timberlands and they were like really expensive and they're white so I was having a hard time cleaning them it came out fine obviously they're walking boots they're ideal but I thought get some wellies I've got grip on them and then it doesn't matter if they get ruined like they were literally 20 pounds and wellies are made for mud and water and I live in England so I don't know why I didn't have some of these already <laughs> okay should we move on to clothes now I really hope this is in focus because I am gonna lose my ish if it's not okay we're gonna move on to clothes now I have quite a few pieces one of them I'm gonna mention right now before I forget because it's in the washing machine because I've been wearing it so much I got it from H&M it's this v-neck like really casual thin I don't know if it's a jumper or like a sweater but it's just like a casual like top that's kind of jumpery a little bit you guys will see on the try on bit but it's really like it's just casual it's really flowy it looks really nice you can kind of dress it up a little bit like if you're running errands for the day and then you're like oh I want to go out for a quick drink before I go home or I want to go out for a quick meal that's fine if you're wearing like these boots look really good actually blue jeans that top these boots so it's that kind of top you can literally wear it with leggings and like trainers to go for a run or go for a walk with the dogs and then you can kind of switch it out with jeans and boots and you can still wear it yeah I love to keep pieces like that in my car like do any of you do this if I have a piece that I feel is really versatile I leave it in my car because then if I'm wearing jeans I can just switch it out I love keeping like a nice top if I want to go out I just put it on I'm going off on the wrong track now but I love this top I got it for £8.50 and it was supposed to be 20 so I love it I'm a fan it's from H&M hope you like it so I'm going to stick with the H&M theme because I did quite a bit of shopping in H&M the next thing I got is this jumper it is so nice it is a off the shoulder light grey jumper this is one of the nicest things I've ever owned it's so soft it was a little bit soft when I first got it but it's okay it was it's just so nice it's off the shoulder you can either wear it completely off the shoulder or like on a slant I absolutely love this I bought it and then I realized that my next door neighbor has the exact same jumper it's this really pretty like light grey it's kind of got ribbing down the fold over like this I love it the sleeves are kind of tapered and it's one of those things again you can kind of wear it on a more casual level or you can really dress this up I love wearing this with black jeans and my nude stilettos it looks really really pretty and very elegant I feel like if your shoulders are out you just look very elegant and it makes you look a little bit dainty and feminine and womanly and I just oh, I love this jumper it's so nice and it's really warm as well and if it's a little bit colder what I was doing when it was freezing and I wanted to wear this I just put like a vest top on and then took the um, arms off and took them into my bra and then I had that extra layer of warmth and then I took that top into my jeans to keep me like warm from like here down and then it was just my shoulders out so you can wear it in colder weather as well if you live in England it's always cold but I got this from H&M and my mom saw it as well they do it in a blue a charcoal grey a black and a pink my mom saw this in a light blue and she's got it as well so now I know like three people with the same jumper Oops. let's tip this out actually I wonder if your receipt will tell you how much you've saved Oh, okay so in H&M I saved £34 and my total was £25.05 so that means it was like £60 I think I'm not very good at maths I think I was I would have spent £60 and I spent £25 because I saved on the sale items which I will show you right now I only got three things from there other than the two jumpers but that was on a separate trip uh, so the first thing I saw I absolutely love this this is it was originally £17.99 and I got it for £7. I have loads of these if you go to the H&M on Merry Hill. They've got them in greens and nudes and loads of different colours. I thought I got the black one. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, I thought I got another top but I didn't. I must put it back. But I got this. It's really pretty. I think this with some blue jeans and those brown boots again will just look so lovely. 
is this nudie kind of, it's, it's got pinky tones in it as well, it's like a nudie pink. I got it in a size 12, because it didn't fit my boob area. Everywhere else fit fine, but my boobs didn't quite squeeze in, and it's just got these really lovely ruffles down the neckline and down like across the shoulders, and then it's got like flared sleeves. They, they get tight around your wrist and then they flare out. Are they called like tulip or something like that? I just love this. It's got one of those wraparound things again, where you just like feed the belt through and then tie it in the middle. And the colours on this are just so beautiful. I'm going to France later in the year and I feel like on one of the colder days maybe, this will look just so lovely. I do recommend sizing up. I'm usually a 10, 8 kind of size. I really vary in sizes. But I do recommend sizing up. Definitely try it on. Next thing I got is just a plain green top. This was, how much was it? £3? Literally £3. It's supposed to be 7 And it's just like a plain green t-shirt just to throw on if I'm walking the dogs. I'm doing a lot of dog walking at the moment. But yeah, I love just casual t-shirts like this that you can kind of dress up a little bit if you want to. Like if I wanted to wear this out, I could wear this out as like a shopping look with those boots that I showed you, the brown ones, and then some blue jeans and then like a leather jacket and a little scarf. And that could look like a daytime shopping outfit or like going out for lunch outfit. I just really love casual tops like this that are quite versatile. And you can't go wrong with just a plain t-shirt like this. It was three pounds as well, so who's complaining? Not me. And then the last item I got, we were both really confused what this was. I got this in a size 10 and it was 15 pounds down from 35 pounds. And if I'm 100% honest, I don't quite know if this is worth 35 pounds. I don't know. I don't know. I have just noticed a little detail on the sleeve, which has kind of made it a little bit more worth it. It's a little button on like a clasp. I thought it was a clasp, so there's a button on there that's added a detail that I really like. Um, I'm gonna have to wear a skirt or something underneath it because otherwise we're gonna be flashing people. I might just wear like bigger underwear, not a thong, and then it'll be fine. Red color is just so lovely. I feel like red with my hair and like when I've got a tan looks quite nice on me. I feel it's quite complimenting and I love the pattern on this. Again, France is gonna be so lovely. I've got quite a few like inappropriate items for the weather right now but this dress was just so gorgeous and I couldn't pass it up because I knew it would sell out and I absolutely love it. Also I just want to mention that a Muslim lady was buying this dress at the same time. It does have a lot of cleavage but if you're Muslim and you like to dress in the clothing then you can put like a top underneath it because that's what the lady was saying to her husband. And I just wanted to mention that, that this is like a really versatile piece because it's so long. So if you like to cover up for religious reasons or just personal reasons that you could put some leggings underneath this and a top, like a higher neck one, that, that could look really cute actually. But yeah, it's quite covered up if you want it to be so I feel like this could be a really lovely piece and you could also kind of wear it as like a robe if you wanted to, if you know what I mean, like a duster type thing but a little bit more extravagant. I don't know. I feel like this piece is just so versatile and I really, really like it. Deal of the video. I went to Superdry. I was complaining that I can never find jeans that make my bum look good because when I'm in my underwear or when I'm naked, my butt looks okay. Like, my butt looks pretty good when I've got no clothes on. And then I put jeans on and it's just like, and it like sucks my butt in. I just struggle so much with jeans because I've got a smaller waist. So I have to buy jeans that fit my waist obviously so they're not like gaping off. But then they're really tight on my legs and my bum and it just makes me look like shapeless which I absolutely hate because I'm not. I don't have the biggest butt in the world but, 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 but the butt that I have, I, I want to see it. I don't want it to be compressed. So I went into Superdry. I was looking at their jeans. I saw an advert on Facebook for Superdry jeans. And one of the women were wearing the jeans and her ass looked really good and then another model was wearing it and her butt didn't look really good but she was quite uh, like slim and slender so that might have been just her body. Um, so, these jeans, let me tell you, these jeans are originally £45 each, I'm pretty sure. Let me just check that. Yep, these jeans are originally... 45 pounds is it 45 or 35 yep these jeans are originally 45 pounds each 45 pounds each i don't usually spend that much on jeans 
I got one pair for £13.50 and the other pair for £20. Can I get a round of applause please? Thank you very much. And these jeans made my ass look so good. So good. I got them in two slightly different shades of blue. Um, I'm probably trying these on in the video right now and you guys are all thinking, your ass doesn't look good in these. Um, it does in real life. It might be the camera angle, but my, my butt looked good in these. I checked in the mirror. I made my friend take pictures of me to make sure my butt looked good in these jeans. I'm so happy. <laughs> so, the jeans are the Alexia Jegging. If you guys want some good jeans, go to Superdry right now. £13.50 for a pair of jeans that are supposed to be 45 Yes, please. They are the Alexia Jegging, and you might be thinking, Jegging? Eh. I know, I don't like jeggings either, but these jeans are thicker than the jeans that I get from River Island, and they're just normal jeans. So these feel like normal jeans, There's like they're just stretchier and they shape you nicer, which, hello ladies, who doesn't want that? I, I got these in a 26 inch waist and a 32 inch leg. I'm usually a 24 inch waist, but that's if they are high waisted. These aren't high waisted, they land on my hips, so they are slightly tight around my hips because I do have, my hips definitely aren't 26 inches, <laughs> no way. So they are quite, they, it kind of lands here, like just above my hip bone, so I can just about squeeze in, just below my belly button, it's fine, but they fit my legs really nicely, I probably could have got like a 27, and that would have been better. If I landed on my hips, I would have probably needed like a 30 or something, but... <sighs> So these are the two jeans that I got. There's not much difference with them. So I got those and I also got these, which as you can probably tell, are a little bit different. If you look at the stitching, this is yellow stitching, um, more like an orange, which I, I really like. It's got kind of like a more westerny feel to them. And they are very similar shades of blue, but they're not quite the same. That's slightly darker, I'd say that's more of a classy color. And this is more of a daytime color. More of an evening denim, more of a daytime denim probably sound insane right now. Now, the last two things that I have to show you, I am so excited about, and I, I don't want this to come off as I'm bragging. I feel like people might misunderstand me here slightly. I'm not bragging. This bag could literally be like 10 pound. I still feel the same. But this bag, I've never bought myself a high quality handbag. Uh, it's just nothing that I've done before. I've never felt that I look after my bags enough to deserve a high quality one, even though it's me paying for it and me wrecking it, I still didn't feel like I deserved that and I felt like that money could go to something else that I'd look after more. So this isn't like a really expensive bag or anything, it's from the band June London and I just think this is so beautiful, I feel like I've seen it somewhere but when you guys see it you're going to know what I mean, oh my gosh. So it is this really beautiful light brown colour with blue very dark blue, almost black detailing around the handle, down the middle, across the sides, and then you turn it to the side. And it's got this beautiful like coral, orangey red in here and in here, and I just think it is so lovely. To open it, you just spin this little clasp and lift it over, and you can just tell by how heavy the metal is, and how, the, how heavy the zip is, and how it just glides along, that it's a really very well-made bag. So this bag, uh, is this the right one? Yeah. This bag is supposed to be £75 and I got it for £40. I got it for £39.99 and I'm just so happy with that. £40 is a lot more than I've ever spent on a bag. The most I've ever spent on a bag was like £10 maybe, maybe £12. So it is more of an investment for me. I know people with like YSL bags and like Chanel bags might be thinking <laughs> this lady doesn't know what she's talking about but this I wanted a really nice handbag for a while and I feel like this is kind of at a good level, like it's not like Chanel, but I feel kind of pretentious walking around with a Chanel bag so I don't know if I feel okay with that. I just, I love this bag and I also got a purse to match. The blues are slightly different but only ever so slightly. This purse, I'm not sure of the brand and I got this for 9 dollars 
and it was supposed to be £40, I believe. So this purse was supposed to be the same price as the bag, and I got it for £9.99, and this obviously retailed for £75. So again, that is a really big saving, and I'm just really, really happy with my purchases. I just, I love the fact that I've got a nicer bag, but I didn't have to fork out loads of money. I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy with it. It just feels so nice. I'm gonna look after this. I'm gonna cherish it for so long. I love it. I love it. So that is absolutely everything that I have to show you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely, definitely, definitely download Shop Target. Literally, look how much money I've saved on all of these items. I've got so many good deals and Shop Target will help you find those deals. If you're looking at like a really expensive jumper and you don't want to fork out all that money or a really expensive bag, then they can just notify you when it goes on sale and you won't have to pay full price. So who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want that? I don't know. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what your favorite piece was. I'm really interested to know. Did you like the wellies most or did you like the bag? Have you just fallen in love with it? Did you like the jeans? Did you like the top, the jumper? I feel like grey jumper is going to be everyone's favourite. I'm also going to link all of the items, fingers crossed if I can find them, in the description for you guys to just click straight through and buy them. If they've gone back up to full price, then feel free to add them to your shop target wish list, and you can get a great deal like I did. I love you guys so much, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon with a brand new video. Bye!